Okay, everybody, moving on to the Leper, who is one of my favorite classes to play in the game and, and a class that's often misunderstood. Uh, a lot of people think the Leper is really, really weak. He misses a lot early game, and a lot of people get frustrated by that. But the Leper is actually, the, in, in my opinion, probably in the top three or four heroes that are available for you to choose. And from straight line damage, they're great on a boss fight. Um, overall, you're going to run them in the first or second slot. Um, so they're, they're pretty tanky. Um, they have more dodge than a Crusader would stock. But they also have a tendency to miss. They're inaccurate. Now, the offset to that is the straight line damage that comes from them when they do crit, especially late game. Um, there's actually been a crit that I've seen. It was a few months ago, so it's not accurate as of now, but it hit for, I believe, 162 damage which would one-shot pretty much anything in the game. Um, so what I would say is, if you are, are thinking that this class is really weak, it's not, you're doing it wrong. So I'm gonna give you, hopefully, some advice on how to make him better. So a couple disadvantages to the leper is when he gets shuffled, it takes him forever to get back to the front. So if you're gonna use him, I would advise that you use him with people that have a better ability to move like an occultist, a jester, a grave robber, something of that sort, even a highwayman. Um, but if he gets to the back row, it's going to take him forever to get up front. Um, that's a big minus for him, and a lot of people find that frustrating. The other thing is he just will, he'll just miss. Um, if you don't account for accuracy early in the game, he will absolutely miss. So get ready for that it's going to happen now there's a few ways you can offset it early in the game you could take intimidate which is pretty accurate i believe it has 80 accuracy base early game um and he won't do as much damage but he'll hit every time which early in the game sometimes is more important um late game though that accuracy base is great because it's 15 points higher than chop now if you're going to account for you know, putting different trinkets that are going to give him accuracy, which one of the... let me find it here. Um, some early trinkets that are really good with him to help you. That will give him more damage, but like we've already talked about, um, that's not always the best. Uh, there is a leper-specific trinket. This is one. This isn't leper specific, but that's one that can help you. Because he's probably not going to dodge much early game anyway. Three accuracy is huge early game. There's also a... I believe it's called a warrior stone. It looks like this. And it gives you plus ten accuracy. That's a really good one for him. And... Hopefully I can find it and not take forever so you guys don't hate me. Um, let's see... Where are you? Well, anyway, there's a leper-specific one that's common. I don't want to look through this all day. You guys will be bored out of your minds by that time. But there's a leper-specific trinket. It's green. It looks almost like a shamrock on a bracelet. And uh, since I don't have the sort options, I can't wait till we get those. It's, it's uh, going to be hard to find it. But it's a leper-specific trinket that... Uh, gives you accuracy and that's something that's really really good as soon as you have that I'd recommend grabbing it um, And using that every single time. This is a warrior's cap, which will give you three accuracy too. That's pretty good um, Anyway moving on as long as you're buffing for accuracy or accounting for accuracy whether it's from a Vestal who's going to use uh, The camping skill bless on you which gives you accuracy that would help you immensely um, whether it's from, this is how we do it, given to you from a bounty hunter, anything that really busts for accuracy is going to be a good thing for you. Keep in mind, you can run reflection to give yourself some accuracy when you're in a camping scenario. So, moving on to the skills. Chop's a must. That's your, obviously your, your primary damage dealing spell. You're going to run hue, and hue is run mostly for uh, a mob, again, don't AoE unless you know you're going to kill one of the two mobs or one of the three mobs you're going to hit with an AoE spell. That's when you're going to run it. So you'd run Hue just for that situation, which again, pretty situational. You're not going to run Focus because you're going to buff forward or you're going to bring Trinkets. Don't waste a turn on it. Same thing with Revenge. It gives you minus 10 accuracy. 
Unless you have accuracy buffs out the ass, don't run revenge. Withstand, again, you don't really need this. L maybe moving on towards uh, some other bosses, you would need it for the prot. But currently it's not viable as one of your four main um, combat skills. Definitely bring the self-heal that can save your life later in the game. And we already talked about Intimidate. Going down to your camping skills, uh, the stuff you're going to want to bring. Again, these two are very situational. Um, and they're pretty flexible depending on your party. You're going to swap them out. Main ones you're going to bring are here. Quarantine is absolutely amazing. If you go through an entire dungeon and you still have your, um, your firewood logs left over. Just click this and it's basically like a free trip to the um, abbey or the, the, to the tavern. It's really good, really, really good. Because you're going to get your HP back. So quarantine's awesome. Reflection's a must. You're almost always going to run this in every dungeon and you're going to use it. And then let the mass down. Again, it's pretty situational. You're not always necessarily going to have the stress, but I bring it in case I'm the one that has more stress than other people. And then I'll pick one of the two here. Or you could bring Wound Care and Encourage both. It depends on what your party has. So uh, you don't want to use him to disarm traps. Not a good idea. Uh, he will miss almost every time, even late game. And his move is the other disadvantage that he doesn't do so well with. He's a little more resistant to Blight because he's a leper. Um, but uh, that's pretty much it with the leper. Again, if you think he's not very good, you're doing it wrong. He's very, very good. You've got to just account for his misses and be prepared to deal with his accuracy issues. If you are, I think you'll really love the leper. He's extremely strong once you account for that. So um, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.